Welcome to the video with DJ Spear C. This video I was asked if I could do it. Uh, compare the RC four wheel drive. Sorry, I do apologize. Not the RC four wheel drive. Hot racing shocks. Compare them with the Ya racing shocks for the SCX twenty four. Now on my personal machine, what I have here right now, I do have the hot racing one. I did remove this one off the vehicle and I do have a set of uh, the Yaw Racing um, aluminum shock set for the ASX 24 and starting to compare both of them before doing the video uh, there is differences let's see if she's gonna want to zoom in on my hand a little bit better here and of course doesn't want to Yeah, she likes the sound a little bit better. There we go. Uh, there is a difference between both of them. The physical uh, body of the shock of the Yaw Racing is bigger than the uh, Hot Racing. Uh, it's a little bit longer. I know you can't really see it, but it is a couple of mils longer. That means it'll give you a little bit more travel. But there's a couple of things of the Yaw Racing. Personally, me, I don't like. Um, that holds the bottom of the shock. It is a nut. It's right here. You're not sure you'll be able to see it. I'm really, this is a small piece, so you may not want to focus. But you see I'm moving it right now, and I'm moving the bottom part. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to unzoom and see if she's going to want to focus. A bit closer to me. Come on. The camera is really being difficult today. But you'll notice, yes, there is a, uh, a nut right there. Let's see. If I bring it closer to my work table, it's going to want to focus here. It's focusing here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. But you'll notice at the bottom of the shock retainer here, that there is a nut and if I hold the nut I'm able to unscrew the shock retainer and take it off of it on the hot racing there's no nut it's part of the retainer itself that your the shaft bolts onto it comes pre-assembled with the uh, the balls and pre-installed with the rubbers. Now, when you do install the hot racing, you have to flip the rubbers because some of them are upside down. On the uh, Yaw Racing, you'll be able to put them correctly. They do come in the pack and they give you a little bit uh, stronger springs. You do have the, the balls itself, they're brass. Uh, O-rings and the screws that comes with it. And they are adjustable like the Hot Racing. You can unscrew the top part of the shock itself. And it gives you a little bit more adjustments here. If you want a little bit more tension on it. Show them this on uh, something that's more white. And like I said, they are adjustable. And the hot racing is the same thing too. Just a little bit easier to see on uh, the hot racing.
they they're both going to do the job. It's like I was saying, the body here is a little bit bigger than the the hot racing one. And now you can physically see that one's a little bit longer than the other one. I'm just going to push this one pretty much equal here, and they're good. I would say maybe three mil, four mil difference, give or take. I have a preference for the hot racing one. That's me. Would I recommend the uh, Yacht Racing for the SX24? Yes, I would. They'll do the job. Uh, if you want a little bit more ground clearance, these guys will help you a lot. On the Hot Racing, you cannot extend them a bit. Uh, these guys, like I was saying, they are a little bit longer. And they're adjustable. They give you two sets of springs. Same thing as the Hot Racing. The only difference, the Hot Racing comes with the uh, harder springs pre-install. This is the softer spring. I was grabbing these. This one here feels a little bit harder. But yes, I would recommend the Yeah Racing shocks for the SX24. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, hit the like button in the corner here. Uh, I do appreciate it and it does help a lot. Thank you for watching.